read the job description and edit your CV so that it matches the job description because if it doesn't match Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content on this channel. I try to make it as fun and like informative as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. So today I'm going to be talking about um, the application process, like applying for jobs. Um, and I might touch on how to prepare for interviews, but I think I need to do a whole video on that one, like another 10 minute video on how to prepare for interview because sis, there were things that I did not know that I wish I knew when I was applying for jobs but anyways let me just start with the application process like applying for jobs first things first like I said before make sure that your CV is on point it may seem like I'm repeating myself but it is so important number two make sure that your CV matches the job role that you're applying for I feel like that was one of the mistakes that I made when I was applying for paralegal roles because I just finished uni and I did a lot of retail experience while I was in uni. I kind of elaborated on that retail experience compared to like when I did two weeks of placement. It wasn't till later on that I realized that, oh my God, like I really need to elaborate on the things that I did on that two week placement, even though it was just for two weeks. Um, in my mind, I thought it's just for two weeks, like really and truly, what can I really say? What can I really put on my t CV that's going to compare to the three years of retail that I did of like customer service and being efficient and doing this and doing that. But really and truly, that wasn't getting me the job that I needed. It was all about the open days that I went to. I needed to kind of put that in my CV, insight nights, I needed to put that on my CV also like two weeks experience that I did and like in local firms I needed to put that on my CV and I didn't and I, I did but I didn't elaborate on what I learned what I did and how it was good for me and how it's going to help my career if you're applying to a specific role make sure that you read the job description and edit your CV so that it matches the job description because if it doesn't match <laughs> I don't know if it doesn't match then you're probably not going to get a call back or you know an interview that was the mistake that I was making like a lot of the time I was putting that oh yeah I'm a really good artist and I'm very good and I do this and I do that it's like okay but how's that gonna help our firm do you know what I mean so yeah that was not needed yeah so like i was putting stuff like oh i paint and i draw and i'm very artistic and i do this and i do that for those of you that don't know i have my own like artwork i paint and draw and stuff i might insert some pictures on the screen of my artwork follow my art page espatrone art but yeah back to what i was saying um i was just putting like things about me that was not necessarily what they were looking for and they really want to know what you're bringing to the table. That's basically what a lot of employers want to know from your CV. Oh, secondly, when you're applying for, um, when you're doing long applications, take your time with it. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you take your time with it because there's some companies that want you to do um, their application rather than sending a CV. So make sure you're not copying and pasting things from your CV into the application. Companies have their own like application process and they'll ask you, oh, they will, they will just ask you like loads of questions and I think it's very important to take your time with it like copy and paste the questions and do it on a word document first one of the advantages of doing it on a word document is that word will correct your some of your grammatical errors and word will correct your spelling errors as well don't rush it by doing it on the application um, process online for that company. Copy and paste the questions and do it on a Word document first. And also, after you've done that, send it to someone to read it for you. That's one of the things that I wasn't doing at first. And then after, I started doing that and I was getting like more callbacks. Um, so that's one of my tips for you is to make sure you do your applications on a word document so um, don't repeat yourself too much when you're doing an application if they've asked you something that's similar in two questions try to answer it in different ways like two different ways um, if they say oh what's your biggest achievement and then they say what's the most important thing that you're proud of don't put the same thing in those two um, questions try not to do that that's something that I did like an idiot like 
Oh, honestly, I'm so tired of myself. So don't put all finishing uni was like a big achievement for you because to them, a lot of people finish uni. You need to think of something that's really big that's going on in your life or something really big that you've done and yeah, and put that. And I feel like that's one of the questions that they used to kind of trick you because they want to see what you really think an achievement is. But really and truly, you need to think of what they think an achievement is because that's the mistake that I was making, okay? So, number four or number five? I can't remember which is which, but yeah, I don't know if I'm doing number four now or number five. Number four, let's just call it number four. Number four is to make sure, um, like for example, if you're using Indeed or Total Jobs, you can use those, but I will always advise to go on different companies' websites and see their vacancies and apply through the um, company rather than applying through Indeed. So sometimes it, Indeed will actually refer you to apply on the company's website but sometimes it also tells you oh, apply through Indeed and some people do kind of apply through Indeed or apply through Total Jobs but if it tells you the company that's put the, the job role on Indeed then I think you should apply through the company. Always try and apply through the company as much as you can instead of applying through Indeed by just submitting your CV and cover letter. Um, that's one thing that I learned when I was applying for jobs. So sometimes when you apply through the company, it, it goes straight to somebody or it goes straight to their HR. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So sometimes it's better. So what I'm trying to say is always try to apply through the company's website and going on their vacancies and actually seeing the vacancy and sometimes they will even tell you to apply specifically to somebody in the HR like their email so you know that somebody is definitely going to get your application okay so when you're doing your applications and you're applying online to uh, a company or I don't know to NHS if you do like in the medical field or to a hospital avoid using um, third person language like oh I don't know I've seen this before it's crazy I don't know I can't believe people would do this but it is something that it is a mistake that a lot of people make like third person language like they put their name like um, Shola did this da, 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 and Shola did da, da, da. and it's like why are you talking in the third person like it's just so funny because you if someone is doing that you don't think about it like oh why am I doing this but if somebody else is reading it's like why are you talking in the third person so avoid doing that that is a mistake that I've seen somebody make so avoid talking as it as a third person basically also when you're um when you're doing your applications use concise and clear language you don't need to do use big big grammar you don't need to don't worry but just don't do it just don't do it because I don't know just just don't do it I feel, I'm laughing because guys I'm laughing because I've done this before I'm so done like oh mate <laughs> no wonder it took me so long to get a job don't bother using big big languages just say what you're like just answer the questions use concise and clear language that if you think like if somebody's reading this you, you don't want them to read it three times before they understand what you're saying you want them to read your application and understand what you're saying like that don't think about oh i need to sound very intelligent i need to sound like this and i need to sound like that no just be yourself and with that being said i'm not saying oh just write any rubbish obviously be very um be very articulate in the way you like present yourself in applications because that's how they are meeting you for the first time but make sure you use concise and clear language okay when oh my god i oh, this is this was me i'm so dumb guys okay when you apply to companies i don't know different companies or like places when you do your job applications Google the company and make sure that you know enough about the company so that if they call you and ask you questions and for example one time I was driving they were asking me questions I was thinking I don't actually know anything about like they were asking me so um, tell us a little bit about you know what you found out about us and I was thinking well I found out what, what I found out about you don't you want to know about me it's all about me I did the application me it's all about me. You're calling me fam. Make sure you 
Google the company, read up about them, make sure you know exactly what they do, where where you're going to be, what department you're going to be, because they you want to know they want to know that you know exactly where you're going to. Because if you don't make sure you google the company find out a little bit about them make sure you know a little bit about what they do go on their about us section google them use linkedin facebook some companies have facebook some companies have linkedin make sure you read up about them think about their competitors who are their competitors just little little things like that can really help you um if you get an interview or if you got a, if you or if you get a call back because some of these companies they will literally call you and do an interview on the spot like a phone interview on the spot so make sure you 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 google the company and you know exactly you know what role you've applied for and what they need and what they're looking for because when they interview you on that telephone call you need to be able to say yeah this is what i'm gonna do this is what i've done and this is how it links to the role that i've applied for and blah 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 so that they know that you kind of know a little bit of what you're talking about even if you don't make sure you kind of sound like you do and the only way you can sound like you do is by making sure that you go with the company and you know enough about the role. Don't be afraid to do follow-up emails or follow-up phone calls. If it's a small company, it's always usually easier to just call them and be like, you know, I you know, I placed an application or I sent you my CV a few days ago. I don't know if somebody has reviewed it. Could you please let me know? And that way they know that you're really interested and you didn't just send your CV for sending your CV's sake. And that's something that I always used to do. And I'm not going to lie, it really helped me a lot in getting experience um when i started applying to like local firms and like other firms i always used to just call them and be like you know i app i applied to this role um could you please let me know it, when i'll be because really actually you don't want to be wasting your time waiting for one role where you can be applying for another one but yeah don't be afraid to do follow-ups and just you know ask them if they've seen your cv and also it's good because if they haven't seen it then you know that you can send it again or you can do another application um, but sometimes it's also good to wait until a deadline because some applications will have like a deadline for when they're taking in applications so after like maybe a few days or a week of the deadline then you can call them and be like you know i i you know i sent my cv da, 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 da what's going on so yeah and last but not the least uh, this is a hard one it's sad but it's the truth if you get a rejection which a lot of people do and it's so sad i had constant rejections when i was applying for jobs and <clears throat> it was really hard for me because it's like why why you don't want me i can't do anything please give me the job <laughs> like it was just so hard but one thing i will say is that if you get a rejection don't be afraid to ask them you know why they rejected your application don't be afraid to ask them you know where you went wrong don't be afraid to ask them for feedback because if you ask for feedback then you're able to apply for jobs in a better way and you know there's things that you may be able to tweak about your cv and they might even tell you maybe oh we didn't really like the da, 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 da. oh you don't have enough experience you didn't fit the criteria you know just and then ask them how can i fit criteria for a job role like this so that you know for when you apply to another company you know your cv or like your application is on point for next time so yeah that's it and then we're gonna get on to the interviews baby oh my god Whew. child interviews interviews are crazy like they can ah oh, interviews make or break you when you go for like jobs honestly when i used to go for job interviews i used to be so nervous like oh man so nervous literally like sweating nervous really really bad but yeah next video is going to be about interviews how to prepare for interviews what to wear when you're going to interviews what to not wear when you're going to interviews how to just you know be the best candidates that they've seen at the interview not that not that i ever was that but i'm gonna tell you guys all my mistakes so that you guys don't make the same mistakes so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you haven't yet subscribed please make sure you subscribe share this video some people might need it share it with your friends with your cousins so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye guys